Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. formerly the District of Columbia and commonly referred to as Washington. The district, or simply, D.C. is the capital of the United States. The signing of the Residence Act on July 16, 1790, approved the creation of a capital district located along the Potomac River on the country's east coast. The U.S. Constitution provided for a federal district under the exclusive jurisdiction of the Congress, and the district is therefore not a part of any state. The states of Maryland and Virginia each donated land to form the federal district, which included the pre-existing settlements of Georgetown and Alexandria. Named in honor of President George Washington, the city of Washington was founded in 1791 to serve as the new national capital. In 1846, Congress returned the land originally ceded by Virginia. In 1871, it created a single municipal government for the remaining portion of the district. Washington had an estimated population of 681,170 as of July 2016. Commuters from the surrounding Maryland and Virginia suburbs raised the city's population to more than one million during the work week. The Washington metropolitan area, of which the district is a part, has a population of over six million. The sixth largest metropolitan statistical area in the country. The centers of all three branches of the federal government of the United States are in the district, including the Congress President and Supreme Court. Washington is home to many national monuments and museums, which are primarily situated on or are around the National Mall. The city hosts 176 foreign embassies as well as the headquarters of many international organizations, trade unions, non-profit organizations, lobbying groups, and professional associations. A locally elected mayor and a 13 member council have governed the district since 1973. However, the Congress maintains supreme authority over the city and may overturn local laws. D.C. Residents elect a non-voting, at-large congressional delegate to the House of Representatives. But the district has no representation in the Senate. The district receives three electoral votes in presidential elections as permitted. By the 23rd Amendment to the United States Constitution, ratified in 1961. History Various tribes of the Algonquin-speaking Piscataway people inhabited the lands around the Potomac River when Europeans first visited the area in the early 17th century. One group known as the Nacoch Tank maintained settlements around the Anacostia River within the present-day District of Columbia. Conflicts with European colonists and neighboring tribes forced the relocation of the Piscataway people, some of whom established a new settlement in 1699 near Point of Rocks, Maryland. In his Federalist No. 43, published January 23, 1788, James Madison argued that the new federal government would need authority over a national capital to provide for its own maintenance and safety. Five years earlier, a band of unpaid soldiers besieged Congress while its members were meeting in Philadelphia. Known as the Pennsylvania Mutiny of 1783, the event emphasized the need for the national government not to rely on any state for its own security. Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution permits the establishment of a district as may by session of particular states and the acceptance of Congress become the seat of the government of the United States. However, the Constitution does not specify a location for the capital. In what is now known as the Compromise of 1790 Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and Thomas Jefferson came 
to an agreement that the federal government would pay each state's remaining Revolutionary War debts in exchange for establishing the new national capital in the southern United States. Foundation on July 9, 1790, Congress passed the Residence Act, which approved the creation of a national capital on the Potomac River. The exact location was to be selected by President George Washington, who signed the bill into law on July 16. Formed from land donated by the states of Maryland and Virginia, the initial shape of the federal district was a square measuring on each side, totaling two pre-existing settlements were included in the territory, the port of Georgetown, Maryland, founded in 1751, and the city of Alexandria, Virginia, founded in 1749. During 1791-92, Andrew Ellicott and several assistants including a free African-American astronomer named Benjamin Banneker, surveyed the borders of the federal district and placed boundary stones at every mile point. Many of the stones are still standing. A new federal city was then constructed on the north bank of the Potomac, to the east of Georgetown. On September 9, 1791, the three commissioners overseeing the capital's construction named the city in honor of President Washington. The federal district was named Columbia, which was a poetic name for the United States commonly in use at the time. Congress held its first session in Washington on November 17, 1800. Congress passed the Organic Act of 1801, which officially organized the district and placed the entire territory under the exclusive control of the federal government. Further, the unincorporated area within the district was organized into two counties, the county of Washington to the east of the Potomac and the county of Alexandria to the west. After the passage of this act, citizens living in the district were no longer considered residents of Maryland or Virginia which therefore ended the representation in Congress. On August 24, 25, 1814, in a raid known as the Burning of Washington, British forces invaded the capital. During the War of 1812, the Capitol, Treasury, and White House were burned and gutted. During the attack, most government buildings were repaired quickly, however, the Capitol was largely under construction at the time and was not completed in its current form until 1868. Retrocession and the Civil War In the 1830s, the district Southern Territory of Alexandria went into economic decline partly due to neglect. By Congress, the city of Alexandria was a major market in the American slave trade and pro-slavery residents feared that abolitionists in Congress would end slavery in the district. Further depressing the economy, Alexandria citizens petitioned Virginia to take back the land it had donated to form the district. Through a process known as retrocession, the Virginia General Assembly voted in February 1846 to accept the return of Alexandria and on July 9, 1846, Congress agreed to return all the territory that had been ceded by Virginia. Therefore, the district's current area consists only of the portion originally donated by Maryland. Confirming the fears of pro-slavery Alexandrians, the Compromise of 1850 outlawed the slave trade in the district, although not slavery itself. The outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861 led to expansion of the federal government and notable growth in the district's population, including a large influx of freed slaves. President Abraham Lincoln signed the Compensated Emancipation Act in 1862 which ended slavery in the District of Columbia and freed about 3,100 enslaved persons. Nine months prior to the Emancipation Proclamation, 
In 1868, Congress granted the district's African-American male residents the right to vote in municipal elections. Growth and Redevelopment By 1870, the district's population had grown 75% from the previous census to nearly 132,000 residents. Despite the city's growth, Washington still had dirt roads and lacked basic sanitation. Some members of Congress suggested moving the capital further west, but President Ulysses S. Grant refused to consider such a proposal. Congress passed the Organic Act of 1871, which repealed the individual charters of the cities of Washington and Georgetown and created a new territorial government for the whole District of Columbia. President Grant appointed Alexander Roby Shepard to the position of governor in 1873. Shepard authorized large-scale projects that greatly modernized Washington, but ultimately bankrupted the district government. In 1874, Congress replaced the territorial government with an appointed three-member board of commissioners. The city's first motorized streetcars began service in 1888 and generated growth in areas of the district beyond the city of Washington's original boundaries. Washington's urban plan was expanded throughout the district in the following decades. Georgetown was formally annexed by the city of Washington in 1895. However, the city had poor housing conditions and strained public works. Washington was the first city in the nation to undergo urban renewal projects as part of the City Beautiful movement in the early 1900s. Increased federal spending as a result of the New Deal in the 1930s led to the construction of new government buildings, memorials, and museums in Washington. World War II further increased government activity, adding to the number of federal employees in the capital, by 1950. The district's population reached its peak of 802,178 residents. Civil Rights and Home Rule Era The 23rd Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified in 1961 granting the district three votes in the Electoral College for the election of president and vice president, but still no voting representation in Congress. After the assassination of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. on April 4, 1968, riots broke out in the district, primarily in the U Street, 14th Street, 7th Street, and H Street corridors, centers of black residential and commercial areas. The riots raged for three days until more than 13,600 federal troops stopped the violence. Many stores and other buildings were burned. Rebuilding was not completed until the late 1990s. In 1973, Congress enacted the District of Columbia Home Rule Act providing for an elected mayor and 13-member council for the district. In 1975, Walter Washington became the first elected and first black mayor of the district. On September 11, 2001, terrorists hijacked American Airlines Flight 77 and deliberately crashed the plane into the Pentagon in nearby Arlington, Virginia. United Airlines Flight 93, believed to be destined for Washington, D.C. crashed in Pennsylvania when passengers tried to recover control of the plane from hijackers. Geography Washington, D.C. is located in the mid-Atlantic region of the U.S. East Coast. Due to the District of Columbia retrocession, the city has a total area of, of which is land, and is water. The district is bordered by Montgomery County, Maryland, to the northwest, Prince George County, Maryland, to the east, and Arlington and Alexandria, Virginia, to the south and west. 
the south bank of the Potomac River forms the district's border with Virginia and has two major tributaries, the Anacostia River and Rock Creek. Tiber Creek, a natural watercourse that once passed through the National Mall, was fully enclosed underground. During the 1870s, the creek also formed a portion of the now-filled Washington City Canal which allowed passage through the city to the Anacostia River from 1815 until the 1850s. The Chesapeake and Ohio Canal starts in Georgetown and was used during the 19th century to bypass the Little Falls of the Potomac River, located at the northwest edge of Washington, at the Atlantic Seaboard Fall Line. The highest natural elevation in the district is above sea level at Fort Reno Park in Upper Northwest Washington. The lowest point is sea level, at the Potomac River. The geographic center of Washington is near the intersection of 4th and L Streets NW. Contrary to the urban legend, Washington was not built on a reclaimed swamp, but wetlands did cover areas along the water. The district has a parkland about 19% of the city's total area and the second highest percentage among high-density U.S. cities. The National Park Service manages most of the of city land owned by the U.S. government. Rock Creek Park is a urban forest in northwest Washington, which extends through a stream valley that bisects the city. Established in 1890, it is the country's fourth oldest national park and is home to a variety of plant and animal species including raccoon, deer, owls, and coyotes. Other National Park Service properties include the C&O Canal National Historical Park, the National Mall and Memorial Parks, Theodore Roosevelt Island, Columbia Island, Fort DuPont Park, Meridian Hill Park, Kenilworth Park and Aquatic Gardens, and Anacostia Park. The D.C. Department of Parks and Recreation maintains the cities of athletic fields and playgrounds, 40 swimming pools, and 68 recreation centers. The U.S. Department of Agriculture operates the U.S. National Arboretum in Northeast Washington. Climate Washington is in the northern part of the humid subtropical climate zone however. Under the True Arthur Climate Classification, the city has a temperate maritime climate. Winters are usually chilly with light snow, and summers are hot and humid. The district is in plant hardiness zone 8A near downtown, and zone 7B elsewhere in the city indicating a humid subtropical climate. Spring and fall are mild to warm, while winter is chilly. With annual snowfall averaging, winter temperatures average around from mid-December to mid-February. Summers are hot and humid with a July daily average of and average daily relative humidity around 66%, which can cause moderate personal discomfort. The combination of heat and humidity in the summer brings very frequent thunderstorms, some of which occasionally produce tornadoes in the area. Blizzards affect Washington on average once every four to six years. The most violent storms are called nor'easters, which often affect large sections of the East Coast. From January 27 to 28, 1922, the city officially received of snowfall, the largest snowstorm, since official measurements began in 1885. According to notes kept at the time, the city received between from a snowstorm on January 1772. Hurricanes occasionally track through the area in late summer and early fall, but are often weak. By the time they reach Washington, partly due to the city's inland location, Flooding of the Potomac River, however, caused by a combination of high tide, storm surge, and runoff, has been known to cause extensive property damage in the neighborhood of Georgetown. Precipitation occurs throughout the year. The highest recorded temperature was on August 6, 
1918, and on July 20, 1930, while the lowest recorded temperature was on February 11, 1899, during the Great Blizzard of 1899. During a typical year, the city averages about 37 days at or above and 64 nights at a below freezing cityscape. Washington, D.C. is a planned city. In 1791, President Washington commissioned Pierre Charles L'Enfant, a French-born architect and city planner, to design the new capital. He enlisted Scottish surveyor Alexander Ralston helped lay out the city plan. The L'Enfant plan featured broad streets and avenues radiating out from rectangles, providing room for open space and landscaping. He based his design on plans of cities such as Paris, Amsterdam, Karlsruhe, and Milan that Thomas Jefferson had sent to him. L'Enfon design also envisioned a garden-lined Grand Avenue, approximately in length and wide in the area that is now the National Mall. President Washington dismissed L'Enfon in March 1792 due to conflicts with the three commissioners appointed to supervise the capital's construction. Andrew Ellicott, who had worked with L'Enfant surveying the city, was then tasked with completing the design. Though Ellicott made revisions to the original plans, including changes to some street patterns, L'Enfant is still credited with the overall design of the city. By the early 1900s, L'Enfant vision of a grand national capital had become marred by slums and randomly placed buildings, including a railroad station on the National Mall. Congress formed a special committee charged with beautifying Washington's ceremonial core. What became known as the Macmillan Plan was finalized in 1901 and included re-landscaping the Capitol grounds and the National Mall, clearing slums and establishing a new citywide park system. The plan is thought to have largely preserved L'Enfant intended design. By law, Washington's skyline is low and sprawling. The Federal Heights of Buildings Act of 1910 allows buildings that are no taller than the width of the adjacent street plus. Despite popular belief, no law has ever limited buildings to the height of the United States Capitol or the Washington Monument, which remains the district's tallest structure. City leaders have criticized the height restriction as a primary reason why the district has limited affordable housing and traffic problems caused by urban sprawl. The district is divided into four quadrants of unequal area, northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest. The axes bounding the quadrants radiate from the U.S. Capitol building. All road names include the quadrant abbreviation to indicate their location, and house numbers generally correspond with the number of blocks away from the Capitol. Most streets set out in a grid pattern with east-west streets named with letters north-south streets with numbers, and diagonal avenues, many of which are named after states. The city of Washington was bordered by Boundary Street to the north, Rock Creek to the west, and the Anacostia River to the east. Washington's street grid was extended, where possible, throughout the district starting in 1888. Georgetown streets were renamed in 1895, some streets are particularly noteworthy, such as Pennsylvania Avenue, which connects the White House to the Capitol and K Street, which houses the offices of many lobbying groups. Washington hosts 177 foreign embassies, constituting approximately 297 buildings beyond the more than 1,600 residential properties owned by foreign countries many of which are on a section of Massachusetts Avenue informally known as Embassy Row. Architecture The architecture of Washington varies greatly. Six of the top ten buildings in the American Institute of Architects 2007 ranking of 
America's favorite architecture, are in the District of Columbia, the White House, the Washington National Cathedral, the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, the United States Capitol, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. The neoclassical, Georgian, Gothic, and modern architectural styles are all reflected among those six structures and many other prominent edifices in Washington. Notable exceptions include buildings constructed in the French Second Empire style such as the Eisenhower Executive Office Building. Outside downtown Washington, architectural styles are even more varied. Historic buildings are designed primarily in the Queen Anne, Chateau-esque, Richardsonian Romanesque, Georgian Revival, Beaux-Arts, and a variety of Victorian styles. Row houses are especially prominent in areas developed after the Civil War, and typically follow Federalist and late Victorian designs. Georgetown's old stone house was built in 1765, making it the oldest standing original building in the city. Founded in 1789, Georgetown University features a mix of Romanesque and Gothic Revival architecture. The Ronald Reagan Building is the largest building in the district, with a total area of approximately 3.1 million square feet. Demographics the U.S. Census Bureau estimates that the district's population was 681,170 on July 1, 2016, and 13.2% .2 increase since the 2010 United States Census. The increase continues a growth trend. Since 2000, following a half-century of population decline, the city was the 24th most populous place in the United States. According to data from 2010, commuters from the suburbs increased the district's daytime population to over 1 million people. If the district were a state it would rank 49th in population, ahead of Vermont and Wyoming. The Washington metropolitan area, which includes the district and surrounding suburbs, is the sixth largest metropolitan area in the United States, with an estimated 6 million residents in 2014, when the Washington area is included with Baltimore and its suburbs. The Baltimore-Washington metropolitan area had a population exceeding 9.5 million residents. In 2014, the fourth largest combined statistical area in the country, according to 2015 Census Bureau data, the population of Washington, D.C. was 48.3% black or African American, 44.1% white, 4.2% Asian, 0.6% American Indian or Alaska Native, and 0.2% Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander individuals from two or more races made up 2.7% of the population. Hispanics of any race made up 10.6% of the district's population. Washington has had a significant African-American population since the city's foundation. African-American residents composed about 30% of the district's total population between 1800 and 1940, the black population reached a peak of 70% by 1970, but has since steadily declined due to many African Americans moving to the surrounding suburbs. Partly as a result of gentrification, there was a 31.4% increase in the non-Hispanic white population and an 11.5% decrease in the black population between 2000 and 2010. About 17% of D.C. residents were age 18 or younger in 2010, lower than the U.S. average of 24%. However, at 34 years old, the district had the lowest median age compared to the 50 states. There were an estimated 81,734 immigrants living in Washington, D.C. Major sources of immigration include El Salvador, Vietnam, and Ethiopia.
with a concentration of Salvadorans in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood. Researchers found that there were 4,822 same-sex couples in the District of Columbia in 2010. About 2% 2 of total households. Legislation authorizing same-sex marriage passed in 2009, and the district began issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples in March 2010. A 2007 report found that about one-third of district residents were functionally illiterate, compared to a national rate of about one in five. This is attributed in part to immigrants who are not proficient in English, 85% of D.C. residents age five and are older spoke English at home as a primary language. Half of residents had at least a four-year college degree in 2006. DC. Residents had a personal income per capita of $55,755, higher than any of the 50 states. However, 19% of residents were below the poverty level in 2005, higher than any state except Mississippi. Of the district's population, 17% is Baptist, 13% is Catholic, 6% is Evangelical Protestant. 4% is Methodist, 3% is Episcopalian Anglican, 3% is Jewish, 2% is Eastern Orthodox, 1% is Pentecostal, 1% is Buddhist, 1% is Adventist, 1% is Lutheran, 1% is Muslim, 1% is Presbyterian, 1% is Mormon, and 1% is Hindu. Over 90% of D.C. Residents have health insurance coverage, the second highest rate in the nation. This is due in part to city programs that help provide insurance to low-income individuals who do not qualify for other types of coverage. A 2009 report found that at least 3% of district residents have HIV or AIDS, which the Centers for Disease Control and prevention characterizes as a generalized and severe epidemic. Crime Crime in Washington, D.C. is concentrated in areas associated with poverty, drug abuse, and gangs. A 2010 study found that 5% of city blocks accounted for over one quarter of the district's total crime. The more affluent neighborhoods of Northwest Washington are typically safe, but reports of violent crime increase in poorer neighborhoods generally concentrated in the eastern portion of the city. Approximately 60,000 residents are ex-convicts. Washington was often described as the murder capital of the United States. During the early 1990s, the number of murders peaked in 1991 at 479, but the level of violence then began to decline significantly. By 2012, Washington's annual murder count had dropped to 88, the lowest total since 1961. The murder rate has since risen from that historic low, though it remains close to half the rate of the early 2000s. In 2016, the district's Metropolitan Police Department tallied 135 homicides, a 53% increase from 2012 but a 17% decrease from 2015. Many neighborhoods such as Columbia Heights and Logan Circle are becoming safer and vibrant. However, incidents of robberies and thefts have remained higher in these areas because of increased nightlife activity and greater numbers of affluent residents. Even still, citywide reports of both property and violent crimes have declined by nearly half since the most recent highs in the mid-1990s. On June 26, 2008, the Supreme Court of the United States held in District of Columbia v. Hell of the city's 1976 handgun ban violated the right to keep and bear arms as protected under the Second Amendment. However, the ruling does not prohibit all forms of gun control. 
laws requiring firearm registration remain in place, as does the city's assault weapon ban. In addition to the district's own Metropolitan Police Department, many federal law enforcement agencies have jurisdiction in the city as well, most visibly the U.S. Park Police, founded in 1791. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.